Friends <laughs> with Sean and John. Why don't we start this episode right here, right now? <laughs> Bring out that, that little recording button that I'm so oh, terrified of. Dude, now. I, I yeah. oh, I'm sweaty. Are you sweaty? I'm feeling a little warm already. You're, you're making me nervous already. I'm, I'm <laughs> Taking off layers here. All right, buddy. Doing... No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable uh, with the with episode two rather than episode yeah. one. I feel I feel very much more uh, relaxed. Uh, I feel like I can express myself a little bit better. Maybe I was too high. <laughs> Maybe I felt like I just didn't have anything to say that was like important about uh, depression at the time. I was, you know, what's really true in, in terms of this. I was, I was feeling. I was feeling kind of shitty uh, <laughs> last Sunday. I definitely was. Yeah, I was. I just wasn't feeling myself. I feel like uh, right now we're in a good spot. I feel mentally prepared in terms of this. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> you know. And uh, how how are you feeling, Sean? What's going on in your side of the world? Ooh, I mean, um, I've been on a roller coaster of a week already. Uh, I, I, and I, I'm usually really good around the holidays too. At least with putting on a good front of what I feel like I should feel like you know usually i work through all the holidays like my my entire work history yeah. is, is restaurants so uh, you know, holidays were like the days to make money so yeah I, exactly. I, spent, I spent more holidays making money than making relationships or connections with my family yeah retail work uh, I, I i agree with you with uh not really sure how to do what to do with myself for this holiday season because uh, retail work I was always busy up until like Christmas Day, you know, no. it, it was it was constantly just like focus on those numbers, focus on getting this shit done, you know, let's like wrap this up and with customers and push everything out the door that we possibly can for the new year because we're gonna start a new physical year and like I'm just going by that mentality and coming in from. What am I supposed to do with my? Am I supposed to enjoy yeah, right? the holidays like, now? How how do I fill this void? Or, yeah. How I do I fill void. the void? I mean, or or this is this is how my brain works too. This is the fucking crazy part. I yeah, get what? and this is I get into like you know well society's kind of fucked up and you know we always we all worship the dollar so uh, you know holidays are or a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of, uh, you know, hallmark traditions that we're inventing out of thin air to, to make more money and to sell more shit, more shit that I don't buy, I don't consume. And in reality, I'm missing the connections and the things that actually make the holidays the holidays. And that void is, is growing oh so within me and is becoming becoming overbearing sometimes that's a good way of describing it you know so, um <clears throat> go yeah, ahead I, yeah no i just how how have i been well here i am that's how i've been and yeah that's exactly right here we are doing the best we can what 2020 what we're looking at is is christmas now that i do want to go see my fam. i want to go see my family yes and i i i don't want to bring with me my troubles of the entire year i want to mm -hmm. go in there with like a clean slate like hey guys I'm, I'm i'm alive you're alive we're all alive like i want to go in with that mentality other than the then other thing the other mentality of like you know what little i've done this year so that's really nice i i you, you, yeah you feel like you're getting a little bit more closer mm -hmm. to home in terms of uh, uh, uh your family being reunited again like i i think that's important that's the whole to point to moving up here in the first yeah place, actually. i think it's important to say that you know thanksgiving uh was last thursday we're recording this on the on sunday right now and uh you know i didn't really go anywhere in, in terms of thanksgiving i wasn't able to see family i wasn't able to um go to uh the places that we wanted to go or like even to the bar like everything is yeah closed yeah, yeah yeah normal, right now. normal things that you would do yeah normal things that you would you know usually do i i've always traveled the wednesday before thanksgiving to go wherever it was for thanksgiving you know mm -hmm. what i mean yep every <laughs> single year every single and i didn't know what to do with myself two houses like I two places always yeah something, you know always something i had to, we went to virginia last last thanksgiving mm -hmm. in terms of that and it was a beautiful time but like i bet 
it was a six hour drive when it should have taken like only three because of the traffic and, and like obviously everybody has to go to where they need to go for Thanksgiving. And uh, you know, we were really missing family this this holiday. Um yeah. It was really hard to see like my family. My brother has a, a you know a beautiful two year old. Oh, you know yeah. my my god my goddaughter, oh, yeah. and I couldn't see oh, her. Yeah. And it was really it was just like you know what did we what did we decided to do in terms of this? We decided that it was better for us to miss Thanksgiving in order to have Christmas. Christmas. Exactly, exactly. I'm giving myself little like mental allowances. Like, hey, it's okay. I'm gonna I'm not gonna do anything this month. Right. And, save it for going home to see my nieces to see my brothers when my, my parents yeah, and your, your family like i didn't even mention my mom and dad like yeah. i want to see my mom and dad like I, I can't believe i haven't seen them in like a couple of months like geez yeah um exactly so it's 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 hard you feel isolated you I really feel, do right now so i i i you know i i feel like that a lot of that is is kind of building up in me mm -hmm. and this is a great reason why I want to talk about what I'm going to talk about today is, um, is especially for me, um, anger, anger. Um, yeah. I, I, I am becoming an angry, angry person. Oh, 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 before you, before you go on with that, I'm, I'm not sure if we, we, uh, introduced ourselves today, uh, in, in, in our, in our episode two. Do, do we need to do that real fast? Oh, uh, I'm Sean. Uh, Holy this, shit, Sean. Hi. Hi, Sean. This is John. Oh, um, I, oh my God. I'm John, dude. Hey, like, guess... I live in friggin' Philly. I, uh, you I'm know, I, I have to chase away the bodega kids. Like, it's crazy over here right now. Oh. Yeah. They're throwing bottles at me now. I don't understand. Like, where do I live? I don't understand. But you know what, John? You know what? You're what? amongst friends. You're amongst friends here. That's true. <laughs> Let me, you know, and you know what, Sean, in terms of that, you're also amongst friends. And anybody listening right now, you are hey, amongst friends. You're amongst motherfucking friends. Yeah. We're here yeah. to listen to you. You're here to listen to us, vice versa. You know, um, yeah. welcome to it. And uh, and, and to continue into our, 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 our definitely something that we've been talking about throughout the past couple of days is... Uh, anger fuck yeah yeah <laughs> not just so, anger but the reper the repercussions the repercussions of and anger how the ripple effect basically of of what anger starts to turn into right um, you sent me a great article yeah uh, I, I i you also sent me a couple of really cool things in, in the past couple of days uh especially how how you you've uh, experienced anger um can i ask you something in terms of this what what is anger to you uh let's just start with like a basic definition because like i've always had a problem defining what anger is or defining what emotions are in the back of my head so like to, to you sean what what is anger i mean anger is it's 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 a reflex for me <clears throat> it's okay it's it's a muscle reflex i'm not thinking about it i'm not i haven't pre-planned most of it but when it does happen, it catches me off guard all the time. And before I know it, it's taken over all the room in my brain. And it's it's that beating heart, that machine that punches mm. every logical thought in my head out. And it takes my loved ones and makes them mortal fucking enemies. Like, yeah. whoa, I, 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 the, some of the thoughts that come to me overwhelm like they they blow me back even in the in the in the way of in the process of thinking of them like it it always catches me off not always 90 percent of the time catches me off guard how quickly and volatilely angry i can get mm -hmm. so you ask me i it's to me it's it's like an involuntary reflex it's my i'm just looking to fucking right your first gut reaction to, to something I can't verbally say all these things I'm thinking. So it's going to come out like, Ugh! right. I mean, so yeah. It, it anger to me in terms of that, uh, I've always defined it as a reaction to either having something taken away from me or losing something. And usually when I boil that down, the, the, the anger usually goes down to fear. And I've always had, um, that fear-based mentality in, in a lot of my thinking or my decisions. Like, you know, I'm a people pleaser. I want people to like me. I like that. I want them yep. to, 
to um, <laughs> to to see me in the way I want you to see me. You know, like a social chameleon almost. Um, now I'm going back. I'm, I'm getting off track a little bit, but like anger. Uh, I, I did some some a little bit of research in terms of this, so I got this right out of like Mayo Clinic. Um, anger oh. is a yeah. I want to say that like you know we want people to know we're getting this information. Yes, yes. I, I, from sources that are real. We are not doctors. Right? I'm I, I'm going. I'm taking my time and my energy to make sure that my <laughs> listeners know like oh this dude didn't like just make this shit up. So yes. Mayo Clinic Great. provided this information. Anger is Thank a natural you. response to perceived threats, all right? So perceived threats could be really anything, you know? Like, what would be a perceived threat for you? Just like, I, I don't I mean, wanna put you on the spot like that, but no, perceived no. threat, go. Go right away. Um, like, like an emotional response can be threatening to me sometimes if it makes me vulnerable. If it mm-hmm. leaves me in like a weakened state or it, it makes me, it makes my facade less than yeah. what it seems, anger, is 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 right behind that so i i, I mean i <clears throat> and that's not even like emotional it can be like a threatening gesture like right you come at me and you know like with a with a punch or a, a with a like if you bump into me say if i'm at, working at a restaurant okay give um, it yeah give if, me a good example of re- working at the restaurant yeah I'm, I'm i'm carrying drinks and you bump into me i spill a drink mm-hmm. you know the perceived threat is I'm going to get yelled at for, for already spilling that drink. My table's going to hate me for getting yeah. a drink late to them. That's a great and, example. And now I have to go back and, you know, admit some fault to, to, to everybody in, in, in charge, actually, um, you know, because as a server, you are, it's your fault for everything. And anger is just, it's just, the buffer zone it's it's the way it's the way you can you're it, it, if i get loud mm-hmm. it's a warning for other people it's like oh wait he's angry okay if yeah. i if my body language becomes abrasive and cold it's a, it's it's warning flags to other people hey something's wrong right perceived thought like uh, like I, i've always had a real big issue with people touching me like you know like putting their arm on me or like getting too close to my like personal space. I've always had like an initial gut perceived threat that person means to do me harm. And that's not (laughs) rational. That's not how it is. That person obviously is like, you know, most of the time they're like trying to give me a high five or something like that. Thinking about it, but it's perceived in my head as an intention to hurt me. You know, and that causes some actual physical parts of me to get like, dr- mm-hmm. like pumped up. You know, adrenaline goes up. You know what I mean? Yeah, muscles tighten, uh, increased blood pressure, and racing heart. Like those are things. Like as a thirty-two-year-old guy, are hurting me now. <laughs> so, you know, I like I don't have like the physical ability to be angry anymore as I was like as a teenager. You know what I mean? No. Um, and I think a lot of people can relate to like having to carry that anger as a young adult, you know, and, it's and definitely taking our, it's, it's toll on us. Um, Cause when, sure. we, when we were younger, yeah, we're, we're, I think we're easy. We're, I think we bounce back quicker. I think everything we do is on a, is on a smaller wheel of, of reality. And as we get older, that, that wheel of reality gets bigger and that bubble of reality, I guess. Mm. And the older you get, the bigger your bubble of reality is. And the anger becomes a constant color in this bubble of reality. Yeah. And it's not, it's just, it, it pops out of nowhere. I also wrote down some, um, you know, common emotions. Like we were talking, I was talking a little bit about like, what's the emotion behind the anger. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I just want to maybe point out a couple that you may relate to or not. Uh, again, this is from um, perspective counseling. You can go look them up there. They're pretty cool. Anxiety, uh, shame, sadness, fear, frustration, guilt, disappointment, worry, embarrassment, jealousy. Um, those are just a couple that I took off of this <laughs> Dude. rather large list of, of, of what could be behind the anger. Yeah. Um, and you know what you didn't mention? Um, lifestyle lifestyle uh, Ooh, that's a good eat, one what I, you eat yeah uh, directly if i eat like shit i feel yeah. like shit if i yeah those big macs are calling like you shit, back dude if i treat my body like shit 
Yeah. Now we're becoming into the age where it's like, you're going to feel everything you do to yourself. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling the years of sugar abuse, um, the years of, 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 you know, small alcoholism and Mm -hmm. (laughs) small other (laughs) intoxicating drugs. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't think that I would be afraid of getting gout ever in my entire life. But uh, kidney stones, to... kidney stones, kidney stones. Like I, I had no idea. You know, I have this weird phantom pain in my feet. Like I don't understand if that's diabetes or if I'm just like you know got to move no, around a little bit. More. Perfect. My shoulder, your shoulder. Yeah. Oh, we're already, shoulders. Yeah. We're already in pain. So if I go up to you, John, and I, I, I go to hug you, and I, I, I touch your shoulder. Your mm-hmm. initial response is, you know, to get louder and maybe to push back and jerk. Like, yeah, immediately like, I want to take like six inches away from you. Know. Involuntary. Yeah, involuntary. Like involuntary. Involuntary, which goes back yeah. to what I was thinking how it's a, it's a, it's a reflex. Yeah, a so knee jerk. I do think that being said, if you can find what starts the anger, uh, if it's, if it's, uh, if it's shelter, if it's uh, a communication you just had, if it's, find out what the cause is i think you can definitely root out how it's how to stop it from happening in the future Uh, i don't think you can go back in time and change things at least um to at least right now we don't have time travel so no not yet not yet guys we're gonna get there yeah i'm I'm just gonna check check the facts real quick again it's uh 2020 and time travel nope not not okay no no Um, still not there yet so uh, that being said, I think we can, you know, uh, kind of predict the future. We can see it. We can see if it's going to happen again by finding it where it starts. Uh, what was that movie with um, Tom Cruise? The, the the pre-thought, the pre-thought crime call. Um, Minority Report. Recall. Oh, my Minority Report. 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 Yeah. Yes. Tom Cruise. Oh, yeah, was it Tom, Tom Cruise? Cruise. Yeah, Is that Tom the one where he's like in the bathtub and he's hiding from that robot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that right okay the, i have vague memories of like movie, of like did i actually see that was that a real thing or was i just like fucking dreaming that stuff <laughs> well it's a weird scene in the movie so you're not yeah. entire and it's a philip k dick uh adaptation so it's gonna right. be weird it's gonna um, be a little odd right it's gonna be off a little the point of that movie was they could they could crime is so predictable that they can they can see they can see it happen before it happens and mm. um, that wasn't, I think, the real intent of the of the book or the movie, but that's, I think, what we can learn from it. And we can learn how to not, you know, go up and, and arrest the, the individual before the act, but at least see the act before it happens <clears throat> and apply some new techniques in order to reduce the anger from coming out or to reduce the effect that the anger will have on uh, loved ones or a- anyone in your particular zone of influence at the time. Um, I, I've, um, you know, taken the liberty of writing some of that stuff down as well. Um, <clears throat> and, and to like, I don't know, like what, to, what you find, what you find. This is what this, this, this was, I need John, help with this. <laughs> these are John originals. It, 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 and I'm only going by um, experience here. You know, that's, that's, that's what I do. And I, I, sometimes what it helps me to do is to write down the question um, first. And how do I feel anger in a way that is positive and cathartic? You know, like, because anger is supposed to be there. You know, we, we talked yeah. about that. It is, a, yeah. it is a natural thing. Keyword on that natural part. Yes. It's there from the beginning since man built fire. You know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> so, like, it's supposed to be there. Why is it there? Why do we feel anger in a way, or excuse me, how do I, we feel anger in a way that's positive, all right, and cathartic? Yes, start. learning. So learning. How can you learn from it? Um, that's, that's, that's perfect right there. Right. So the first thing that I do is I take a pause, all right? I take a couple of seconds. Like, you know, it, you, you always think pause is, like, going to be, like, a whole minute of, like, just, like, critical thinking. You know, pause gives me the time to process the reactions that has caused my anger to come out all right it it, it allows me to just instead of that knee-jerk reaction of like bam fuck your shit up what's going on like why is this person angry with me why is my significant other or like you know loved one or friend 
boss. It doesn't matter. You know, it's usually because of one of two things. Something that I did. All right. Because that's a realistic thing. Like, why are they angry with me? It's probably something I fucking did. <laughs> I say so. You know? Like, did I, did I do something? Has my actions caused someone to be upset with me? And do they need to be fixed? You know, those are something that you can ask yourself in 10 seconds or less. Has my actions yeah, caused someone to be upset with me? Yeah. And do, yeah. I need to, do I need to address it? What would you want to do in someone else's shoes? You know, and that's, I think something that everybody has a hard time doing. I think it's hard for us to point out, you know, uh, what the other person feels more than my feelings, you know, because that's just saying like that person's more important than I am in <laughs> yeah, that moment. Which and it's hard. And it's hard to like take <laughs> off that like the shackle of self centeredness uh, when you're angry. Like you, you, it's just part of it. It feels like it's just like peanut butter and jelly. Those two things feel like they go hand in hand. Yeah, a lot of times for me. Um, no, that and that that um, that works perfectly with with what I was. I what I wrote down was breathing. Um, breathing. A deep deep breath. Deep, breaths. deep intentional yeah. breaths. Like you know. Yeah in, hold it for a second, let it out, relax, start to relax your body, start to relax your mind. Um, and cause I, I started, uh, you know, meditating, uh, recently and uh, meditation is becoming thoughtfulness. It's all how, about becoming. How, how, how has that been helping you? And, and like, it sounds like it would be extremely beneficial, but continue please. Yeah. No, no, it's, I mean, uh, the meditation, it's only as good as the, the effort I give in. I, I, it's all, I only get as much as I give. <clears throat> so mm. some days it takes me like 10 minutes to calm my mind down to where I can be in a meditative state. And uh, other days, I wake up and I'm already in that state of Zen and I can, I can focus and get everything fucking done. But breathing is, is, is definitely where it starts. And I, I I've noticed benefits, but I, I want to keep doing it. And I want to keep doing it for a long, a long period of time. Cause I, I want to see those benefits. So the, the only benefits I'm seeing right now is it's helping me articulate thoughts a little bit more clearer and it's helping me explain myself a little bit more clearer. But I've, so only, been, I've only been doing it for like a month or so. So when you're in, when you're in like your 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 anger state, right? I'm I'm trying to figure out the best way to phrase that. But uh, you're in your anger state, right? And you go into your yeah, you you go into your meditation process, right? What do you like? What like do you have like a mantra? Do you think about like a certain thing? that you say over and over again to get you back into like your, your, your Zen state of mind. Is there, yeah, I can, I, I just think, I just think my mantra is breathe in, breathe out. You know, I as think simple about, as that it's breathe I, in. I, I, I break down the out. entire word and I, I, I think about how long it takes me to hold in each breath and I, I time it out with breathe in and breathe out. Like that's my mantra. My mantra is that because that is by saying something in my head, or saying it out loud, it actually helps my brain get into that cycle of, all right, don't worry about it. Think about this, focus on this, focus on this, focus on this. So um, my mantra right now is breathe in, breathe out. <clears throat> Which Yeah, I, I think that's really important to say because I feel like a lot of people's opinions or uh, experiences in meditation has been just like, it has to be a very like rigid process. Like you have to go find like a mountain to climb. You yeah. Have to I don't think it has to with be that. You. you know, like you have, a, there's a lot you of things. To, yeah, no, you, you're right. Like Instagram has made me think that I can only do yoga on a mountain or in yeah. the desert. You know? It only matters if it's beautiful. <laughs> I uh, guess like, I don't understand that because like meditation in, in that sense is meant to like personal. It's a personal thing. You personal. Do it, yeah, you exactly. Do it. However it looks to you is how it's going to look to you. Um, and the, the way I, I can, I can explain how I do it and how it feels to me doesn't necessarily mean that's how you're going to experience it. And that's how you're going to feel it. That's why I think it's, it's such a beautiful practice because we all do experience it differently. And I, mm -hmm. I do think the mindfulness and the, the, the uh, I won't say attention to detail, like the, the amount of time it allows you, your brain to slow down and start focusing again, focusing is very big for me because 
I think we all have ADHD. Our minds oh are my God. always yes. in different places. It's hard to pay attention nowadays. I mean, you have Facebook to worry about, and then you have the Reddit, and then the Twitter, and then, you know, God forbid, you're like you have to go to the bathroom in between, you know? I know, I know, right? I'm it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Drink some water. Make sure you drink water. Like, I don't understand. Not too much. I can't pee right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Um, but it's hard, dude. It's hard to pay attention in this day and age. I feel yeah. like there's so many distractions too. Like there's so many ways of our um, uh, our attention to be split. You know what I mean? No, that that that's actually that was one of my my background on my computer for the longest time was, um, are you distracted yet? That's what it said. Oh, and, oh, that's a good one, dude. Yeah, because I, I whenever I would get distracted, I would look back at my computer and it would, you know, it would you know, basically call me out and I'd be like, oh yeah, I was writing. I forgot. Oh you were yeah, trying to, I was, yeah. I was doing something creative. I was doing this. I was doing something else. And like, oh yeah, I was doing homework or something. I, I think a lot of people are going to hate what I'm about to say in terms of this, but it's like, you're playing the game <laughs> with yourself specifically, but now, now everybody has to start over. I'm sorry. You know, we're, we're starting at ground zero for the game guys, but it's all, it's all good. Uh, but like, uh, so again, man, I, 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 do, I do, do you have, uh, I, I got it before you continue. I, I have some other things that uh, we could talk about in terms of the positive. Oh, yeah, uh, no, no, no. Go back into, go back into things you can do. Um, because things that you could do. Yeah. You said, take a minute. I said, meditate. Do yeah. You, I, I, do you, I got a couple more of those. If you got a couple more. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Okay. Yeah. Um, I said, ask yourself about point of view. Uh, what does my point of view think of the situation? Like, like, I, I don't think that's as clear as I thought. Of, I thought about it when I wrote it down. But my point of view is usually a lot different than anybody else's. You know what I mean? Uh, it's personal, as we talked about. Let's say that you and I got in an argument, and the argument was about. You know, you hate pickles. How about that? You know, I love pickles, dude. I want you to know, like, I mean, I, I, feel... I do love pickles. Right. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. Good. I'm glad we're on the same page, regardless of this. So you say something like pickles are awful and they make me feel bad. And I'm like, well, I now I got to take that personal. <laughs> what, what, what does my point of view think of that situation? And it's not necessary for you to be right. No. All the time. No, you know, I... be angry and being right are two different things ladies and gentlemen all right <laughs> i just wanted i just wanted you guys to know that i'm not sure if you were you realize that or not but being angry and being right you know often feel the same <laughs> yeah but, i think it's the same reward center in our brain telling us hey that felt good to be right yeah or, you know it like, does feel good to be right i'm just saying i love <laughs> oh i love being right i do <laughs> Yeah, but it gets, gets to the get point right. where, yeah. yeah, it gets to the point where being right is the only answer that I can bring to people <laughs> sometimes. And yeah. anger, anger, you know, is the is oh, like the I fuel to, hear this. to to the rocket of 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 that uh, scenario. I needed to hear that today. Yeah. That was the one thing I was looking for today in this 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 crazy chaos of emotions I've been going through. I needed to hear that. Thank you, John. You're like, welcome, dude. That's why we're here. That's why we're here amongst friends. That's right. We're, we're amongst friends. You and I are just talking about each other's problems. It's fine, dude. I'm totally <laughs> cool with that. You know? Uh, uh, no, but that, that, that segues into what I, I was thinking. Um, uh, learning to forgive. Um, learning to forgive, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I like to always kind of like, you know, in my head, I've always made sides. My side and the outside. And mm if you don't, if you, you know, if I'm not being, if I'm not right, or if I'm not being correct, then I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm open up for people to, to, to attack in, hence where the anger comes from and learning to forgive people for, I, I, would, I would say like, even like past actions. Uh, I'm, I think I'm, I'm really trying to become really big on, um, not really trying to, but I, I've always been really big in my whole life about not judging people for what they've done in their past. Um, I'm somebody who has a crazy, crazy past. I hear about your past a little bit. But it, it, <laughs> yes, we'll, we'll get into, we'll get into all that, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, 
me, like, in, in terms of my partner, you know, learning to learning to forgive small little micro aggressions and transactions that in the big picture don't mean anything. Um, but like, in the moment, they can mean everything. Like the simple thing of like cooking, cooking dinner or whatnot. <clears throat> or doing the dishes. Yeah, like, you know, just because I think it should be done all the time doesn't just doesn't necessarily mean that the other person's thinking that. And I can't hate them or judge them based on that and get angry. I just have to be more be more zen about it, I guess. Uh, you know, I think it's hard to be zen about it, especially when you're you're used to do. It. Let, let, let me say this: I think you're used to doing something a specific way. You know what I mean? Yes. And when and yeah, when that's way, challenge. Yeah. When it's challenged, let's say that uh, the, the uh, always a good argument is how we put the toilet paper roll no, onto that's good, the toilet yeah. paper. So, like, how do you do it, Sean? Like, how do you put your toilet paper roll onto your toilet paper? Dude, the the flap facing me, facing the up. flap facing you. So I do yes. the opposite. I put it to the back, mm -hmm. so the the flap is closest to the wall, right? And I feel like I'm, I'm already sweating. Short. <laughs> you're already mad i'm sorry but that's a, like you know everybody has their own way of doing things and that goes into like how we clean how we yeah. cook how we and operate you know what that, is, though? that you you weren't sweating the small details don't sweat the small stuff mm -hmm. you know I, I i again with with you know me getting angry because it wasn't so crystal clear how to how to hang fucking toilet paper you know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, who fucking cares? It's fucking toilet paper. Like, why is this, why is this a fight? Why is this like, why is this taking up so much real estate in my brain when it's so minuscule? So keeping things in perspective, I think is a huge, huge part on, on, on how not to, to, to keep yourself getting more and more angry. Yeah, I agree with that. I feel like there's a lot of times where uh, we turn mountains into molehills. Vice you know? versa. Like, um, I, I, yeah, I, I, I feel like I we, think we, our entire political spectrum right now, actually, ooh, um, yeah, presidents is yeah. small things that don't matter. Like, yeah, how Trump says China or how tiny his hands are. Yeah. Who or cares? how Bernie Sanders kind of always looks like this, you know? Yeah. Or how we turn how we turn them into a beautiful meme, like it, yeah, like those things don't matter. But but these this is what's clogging our our mind. This is what's clogging our 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 our, our reasoning to from to then make decisions with. I don't don't get caught up on all the small things. Look for the look for the the big picture, and like would you say would you say silver lining as well in terms of that? Like I've always felt like there's always a silver lining in terms yeah, of like I, I, I news get... that is bad or things <clears throat> didn't work out the way I wanted them to. So I want to have the silver lining as like, oh, that's my lesson learned in terms of this. Because there's, I, I think it's also important to say like failure happens in the yes. world. We don't always win. We don't always succeed in what we're going to do. Our dreams almost you know, as much as we hard card and, you know, they do happen while those dreams do come true. Sometimes they don't. And yeah. we have to learn how to like work from our failure and use that experience, that failure to experience to do better. I don't think that's a bad thing. And people are so afraid to like fail. Yes. There. Yes. Yes. Um, um, and I can really ch chime in here uh as you know i have i have three brothers mm -hmm. um i i think three of which are all very successful in their lives and what they're doing and i yeah. always feel like me um I'm, I'm a middle child i always feel like kind of the, the black goat of the family the black sheep of the family the black sheep yeah and mm -hmm. I, I i look at you know i look at terms of success as you know what you know I and mean, personally i i don't but like financial gain and wealth or like social standings and and in your town or whatever so like yeah i not, not it's just looking for success or trying to fit in 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's and it's hard to do that. I think that's one of the reasons why we're scared to fail is we're going to look like stupid or something. Like, you know, I I, 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 was, I I get scared. I look stupid all the time. Yes, like I really I, do. I feel when like you I'm put, doing it right now, actually. When you, but... when you, when you put the, uh, the, the, the last episode on YouTube, I had a mild panic attack about it. I was like, I was like <laughs> I looked terrible in that movie. Don't man. worry, don't worry. I'm going to feel I know. Like I'm, not, that. I'm not feeling as bad about it because it happened. You know, like uh, sometimes doing something poorly or badly at first. And I think that's go going back to like that beginner mindset. Um, I'm not sure if we talked about that last week or not, but having that beginner mindset, like you're going to fail. You're going to yeah, mess no, up yeah, a couple did. of times um, yeah. in, 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 in order to get better, you know, <laughs> be a forever be student. Yeah, be, um, be, be, continue to be the student. And that goes into um, one of the Stoic philosophies that uh, I, I've kind of fallen into looking up all this stuff. Um, Stoicism. So uh, can, can you, can you, I can, I, I can, I'm not really sure what I, what I know Stoic. about Stoicism. Can you, can you explain that to me, please? Uh, let me see here. A Stoic. Um, I think it goes back to uh, Greek. A stoic. Want... Um, this is from uh, the Free Dictionary. Yeah, Free Dictionary, that bitch. Uh, FreeDictionary.com. Uh, excellent yeah. for, for getting all my dictionary information. Um, a stoic is one who is seemingly indifferent or unaffected by joy, grief, pleasure, or pain. A member of the original Greek school of philosophy founded by Zeno of Satyam. Sorry about my... No, I mean, uh, um, it's probably better than what I would have done. Uh, believing that God determined everything for the best and that virtue is sufficient for happiness. Wow. So basically, you can't control all little things of life and you should give up that control to God. Um, and God is whatever you want God to be. But let, let go and let God um, is is I think the best stoic uh, quote that's not a stoic quote at all. So, now I'm, I'm just looking at like some of the other, I, I did a little research on my end too. I'm seeing stoic as elaborated detailed ta taxonomy of virtue dividing virtue into four main types. To, do you know these four main types? Uh, I'm not off my back of my hand, no. I, I have them as wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. Perfect, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> And yeah, because uh, my other school of philosophy of thought is um, cynicism. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a cynic, um, and that goes into temper and anger. Um, that that's it's all very uh, closely related. Um, I become uh, sometimes how I get my point across is through um, like cynicism uh, or being like very uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, like. I give, say give, give, something, but I mean something else. Uh, you say something, but you mean something else. Yeah, like so. Yeah. I, Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> <laughs> There's a word I'm looking for. God damn it! Uh, all right, we're gonna get so much better at looking up words. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get really good with this dictionary stuff. In the, <laughs> get, at the same get, time, we're gonna I'm gonna have the thesaurus on my end. You have the dictionary on your end. We're gonna make this shit work, dude. Don't worry, it's gonna be like clockwork. Uh, no, but. Well, <laughs> Uh, let's 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 tie let's tie back in the Stoic philosophies. All to, right, give me the Stoic. Yeah. No, to what um, what you were saying about um, how to avoid anger in the possible future. Um, I other than seeing what what causes the anger, I I do have an awesome list I found on um, on the web too. I believe yeah. from uh, how to be less angry. Nine auctionable tips by Stephanie Kirby. Oh, hang on one second. Let me let me pull that up because I, I is uh, is this it? Is it the one that it we were talking about? Uh, no, no, it wasn't the one you sent me. Uh, it wasn't that one. Yeah, yeah, but you, I'm just I'm gonna run through the list real quick. Yeah, let's run through um, it. I'm, I'm curious here. Already, it. we already talked about like four of these without even trying. Um, first one was practice meditation for anger. Ooh, beautiful. We nailed that one. Um, number two, learn why you're angry. We did, kind of, we did kind of say that, you know. We see, touched on that. See, see what the root cause is. Number three is get regular exercise. Treat oh. like a fucking temple, dude. Take care of yourself. I need to start doing that, dude. Oh, I'm I, need so, to, I need to take care of myself. I'm getting windy going up and down these stairs. I don't even know what to do with myself. 
I, I was biking every day for 20 miles, sometimes more oh. now, and now I'm, I'm not. So get out and exercise. Number four is look for anger management groups. Um, mm. Asking for help. Cause when you're amongst friends, <laughs> or, Hey, guess what? It's not bad to ask for help guys. It's, no, it's uh, it, totally normal. And it's taken me 32 years to realize it's okay to ask for help. I actually wrote that um, one down too. And it's okay looking, to get help. Yep. So I am, I am actually going to proactively after I'm off this talk with you, I'm going to look for some local groups that I can maybe reach out to or talk to because I, I seriously want to jump and stay and, and get into a healthier uh, mindset than what I've been doing and doing it with a group of people, I think is the best fucking way to make it uh, a long lasting impression. I totally agree. And I, I, I think it would be really cool to like what we should try to do for amongst friends and uh, in general, uh, yeah. maybe, maybe make a discord. Uh, what, do yeah. you think, what, do you, what do you think about that? Maybe we put something together that we can, I, like, I I, I, you know, if, if you're listening to this right now, you know, th th this isn't set up at the moment, but we're going to get there, damn it. Yeah, um, yeah. we're going to have a community. Uh, but like having, <laughs> having, having somebody to talk to, to bounce ideas off of, and I just want to touch about like what you talked about with anger management groups, you know, having somebody that's not just you talking a to third you. party not not third party not, to not bounce. A loved one not a yeah. friend someone else mm -hmm. uh, third party um point of view because that's the one you're going to listen to more than more than not i yeah. mean if, if my and girlfriend's sitting here telling me you know all of these things it's going to in one year out the other but if i hear it from a third party i'm i'm going to listen um yeah and you also that's because the anger it's, it's true. That is because of the anger. It, it makes us feel clouded in our less decisions. Than. Yeah. You know, and, and I think the antidote to that is uh, relating to somebody's story or message. You know, and you'd be surprised how often something just resonates in you. No. When when you just feel it, like you get like weird feelings, like you get like the I get the goosebumps. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, like, Damn, yeah. like I feel that. You know, I know what I mean? That. I know that. Yeah, sometimes you get it like, oh, like you get that. That's the and purpose of like, yeah, it's like the purpose of uh, going like an AA group or um, NA. Right. It, yeah. the, it, it, exactly. And you, you get your message, you get your hope from wherever you find it. And that's okay, guys. And, and uh, you know, making a Discord, I, I think building a community yes. uh, of people that hopefully want to talk with us or talk and to help, us. And help other and help. people. Yeah. Um, like, I think that that's great. And I think that's cool too. Because I don't think all of us can afford uh, going to a therapist once a week. Ooh. I know, I know, I can't. Yeah. Um, I would love to talk to a therapist, um, but I know groups can be free, and uh, our community that we're going to start building is now always going to be free. Um, yeah. And yeah, because I you a get, therapist you, isn't isn't a valid option for everyone, unfortunately, in yeah. today's world. But if you can afford it. More power to you. Hell no, yeah. no judgment Hell here. Yeah. Like you know, you can do it. You know, I I think uh, I I think that if if there's anything that's free to do and free to talk about, you know, we'll listen. And yeah. it's it's not a bad thing to feel. It's not a bad thing to go through the anger process. No, and, because uh, it, once you do this, once you look for help, um, it's going to go right back to that list I brought up. Um, mm. In group and talking to someone else, you can learn what situations cause you to struggle. And that's that's the fifth point on this list. Yeah, and, give me the fifth point. I will. Uh, no, no, that is learn what situations cause you to struggle. Take right. some time to to think of the situations that you find that 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 you find the cause the most amount of anger, and try and like work through that struggle. Uh, and that goes into learning to forgive, which oh, wow. I, th I think we touched upon already. <laughs> yeah. It's um, I agree. I, I, I do want to go back to that point number five again. Can you say that one more time? I, yeah, I don't know why. Learn what situations cause you to struggle. Taste How often uh, did you feel like you were trying to fight a problem that you didn't know about? Like, like, like you can't fight something that you don't know, like what about? <laughs> like, let's say you have like, oh, you know, well, yeah, like I'm, a I'm terrible. Like, yes, it, yes. Like uh, what you know, like, what I'm trying to say. We're, we're all we're all politically uh, we're all political science majors around election, yeah. right? And, and I, you know, like I trust me, I know everything. I don't know anything. Um, yeah. So me trying to 
to, I, str I struggle with, with, with learning. So um, right there, it, I, you know, that would cause me to get angry if I was trying to teach somebody, something to somebody else. Uh, like teaching, um, teaching, uh, you know, my girlfriend how to play video games. Mm, like that's a good example. What makes so clear, black and white sense to me doesn't translate to her, and mm -hmm. I get angry because it's like you know you can't you know she's like looking at a ladder and she can't you can't climb in in Crash Bandicoot or whatever and she's looking at a ladder well, I can't climb up the ladder you know like or like in a in a shooter game I mean. I am a horrible at learning, so I'm a horrible at teaching, and mm -hmm. I, that translates into anger for me. I, that's so, honestly, learning, Sean. That's that's such a cool. That's such a cool thing to hear from you and, and, and understand. Damn, dude. Learning what powerful. situations. It's it's definitely with me with teaching someone how I from trying to show them how I see. You know, if I could take you and show you exactly the way i see things that's what i struggle doing and that's where my anger comes in so mm. number five on this list right here i needed to hear this again today yeah because i did too dude i really I just needed well. that um and that goes into learning to forgive um which i kind of mumbled up uh earlier but if you find that you have a lot of anger in your daily life it could be that you're struggling with forgiveness mm. I, I can't think right off the second of, of, of me not forgiving somebody, but I do know I haven't given my full level of forgiveness. And I, I, like, I, you know, I don't think you should judge anybody for the actions they've done in the past because the two different people, but I still find myself like expecting to get hurt or like, like if, if, a, if a girlfriend or boyfriend lied to you, you haven't forgiven them because you're still expecting another lie to come. Mm -hmm. So I struggle, I struggle with that too. You know, I, I can say, I forgive you, but in the back of my head, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'd say Russian roulette. I'm fucking waiting for you to lie to me again. So I can go, I fucking knew it. You know, like, I understand that. Uh, to me, it, I, I've always had trouble um, with forgiving and forgiveness in general, uh, but I, I have learned that it's more important to forgive than to be forgiven. Yes. <clears throat> and the act of, you know, being able to forgive somebody allows you to understand a couple of things. And I think the most important thing is that you're human. You're human. Yeah. You're going to make mistakes. You're not perfect. You're, you're not, not God. Perfect. You know, and, and and you have to also understand that in order to forgive other people is to understand that they're also human and they yes. also fuck up and they also yes. make mistakes. So, um, no, it, that that's that, because that, that's the act of of, of learning that uh, that that process of forgiving. Um, that's and, hard. It's, and hard it's not easy. It's not. It's not an easy thing. It's not a comfortable thing either. I think it's it, practice. It's like working out. You have to keep going mm -hmm. to the gym to to get the benefits. I have to keep meditating every day to get the mindfulness. Right. We have to. You have to forgive all the time to become good at it. And right. and and I also want to say like I it, I think it makes a big difference as to like hearing like I'm sorry or instead of hearing like I the act of being forgiven yes. are two different things. Yes. You're like you can't like sugarcoat it. I'm like, you can't throw like a, like a blank. I'm sorry. at Like your actions and expect things to go back to being normal. I, I feel like that's a lot of problems that I see in my relationship where like, I'm I want to say yeah, normal. To come I, right back. Like, you know, like I want to say like, I'm sorry. And that'd be the end of it, but it doesn't yeah. like, <laughs> it, it doesn't work that way. You, you uh, know, like you're you, a lot of time, my actions have consequences and, you know, and I really did it. I really wish it did work that way. I'm sure I'm too, dude. Yeah. Go ahead. There we go. Is that, a, I need another light on me. Do you, I look you better? Oh, is that, is that a song, dude? Did you just put a song lyric together? <laughs> I need a you little got, bit of light I, on me. I need a little bit of light on me. 
no, dude. But back, to, to, I mean, I, I hate dead air, but um, uh, yeah, none of this is easy, and I think none of it's easy. You have to keep doing it oh. in order in order to get better at it. Um, and that uh, that goes into like uh, learning what causes you to struggle, learning to forgive. Mm-hmm. don't don't sweat the small stuff this may seem like common sense but it's it's much harder to do than it is yeah to say. yeah if yeah. you struggle and with anger chances are you almost struggle with blowing off little things that are out of proportion yeah. like we already said that um and if you're hey, listen if you're angry like right now and you're listening to this hey listen you're in a good place you know <laughs> I, I i just want you to know that like you don't have it's to fine. feel you can be angry and listen to us. Like you can yeah. say, like these guys are so full of shit right now. They are bad. They are yeah. bad at what they do. Yeah. That's okay. That's, that's all right, right, dude. Like, guess what? We're like, still gonna be here, first of all. That's one of the things, John, that I I wanted to I wanted to uh, to 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 really uh, send home is, it's not our job to convince anybody anything. No. Um, I, I gotta I gotta make sure I'm doing what I need to do for me. It's not my job to convince you that I'm doing what's good for me or anyone else that i'm Hmm. doing what i need to do for me Um, but if you if you find something resonate if you feel like a message here that you relate to good dude like that's what we're that's what we're here to do uh and 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 make you maybe just a little bit more like a beginning and and yeah um again uh i think it was marcus aurelius who's a a great stoic philosopher who said always be a a forever student Mm -hmm. Uh, i i could be completely misquoting that uh, I apologize I, to everyone. Um, right, right now, I fully believe you. So you, you have my support. I'm shipping this. Uh, but don't sweat the small stuff, man. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff, dude. And I, I feel like, I, I feel like, are, are we, are we running out of time? Where, where are we? Have no, no, we're good. We're good. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, how often do you do that too? Like, I, I make, I, I constantly make uh, my own problems, if you, if you will. Everyone you know, else's I, problems. No, no, no. It's not that. I like usually if I have drama going on in my life, it's usually because I started the drama. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah. And I feel like I also like I see people get bored with themselves or in their environments right now with COVID going on and uh, quarantine. Like people are fucking bored, and when you don't have anything to like entertain yourself, you start to make your own drama. And. Yeah. I'm curious, like, you know, have you had like any like drama start on your, your world uh, that uh, uh, just like, it doesn't have to be big. It doesn't like, like something that's been bothering you. Maybe do you no, have like, anything like that I mean, going there, on this, what we've been talking about. Um, mm-hmm. This has been, this has been your, 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 this your, has been my muse for the past and my muse. This has been what I've been struggling with. your muse, with. Sean? This Please tell me I'm your muse. struggling with since, since, uh, March. Um, this is what I've been, this is what I've I've been doing. Yeah. Uh, You know, I haven't been sweating. I've been sweating over the small things and it's been, it's been putting a stake in between uh, me and my partner uh, to where we're almost at odd ends sometimes. And I think me being aware of this and able to uh, grow from it is, is a huge, is a huge uh, step forward for me personally. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like this, and it does, it didn't start this year. Um, this has just been like, it, I think everything in my life's been building up to this point. And I've now had the time to sit down and look at myself, like look, look at myself for the past eight months. And I don't necessarily like everything I see. Um, there's a lot of me that I love and there's a lot of me that I do not love. And what I don't love is my, my short temper my my angry episodes, my mood swings that come with that, and my ripple effect of the people that I love most dear to my heart, how it affects them. You know, it's actually something that I have right here I wrote down is uh, how does my anger affect my loved ones? And uh, one of the things that really resonated that I heard uh, from this article uh, is anger is a puffer fish phenomenon. Ooh, so I did read themselves. Did you read that? Makes yeah. themselves look angry or scarier when they can't express themselves. And I think that's the, like yeah. the hardest part right there is the express themselves part. Mm-hmm. And I, I find myself, you know, that's my biggest issue um, 
when I'm upset or when I'm angry is the 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 desire to to say like what's on my end and uh, what I happens to, on my end is I, I get this like weird silence of the clams kind of thing where I don't want to talk to you I don't want to say anything about what's the problem or even like to to I just completely shut down until I'm able to talk about it and that's not like healthy way of like no but you should definitely your... like knowing you're aware of it and taking mm -hmm. time is that's totally healthy um we should definitely start allowing ourselves yeah. to to take more time right and i do get that pepper that, that puffer fish mentality i, I gotta I tell you too. like i, I, I get i get all bolstered up or like i stand up i get excited i start talking louder like and um i don't i didn't really realize this in in terms of like my relationships but that could be um intimidating to other yes. people as well <clears throat> yes i get i get very standoffish right um, and i didn't know this i had to be told this by a third party uh -huh. i had to be told this by like like six or seven different parties yes <laughs> <laughs> i had to be told hey dude like you're you're walking around like you're the hot shit i mean I, uh -huh. entitlement and i'm i'm just i'm just affecting people negatively all around me um so yeah, uh, this, this actually can segue into finishing up with the stoic. Um, yeah, give me the last of the stoic, please. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I found 10 mindsets um, for stoicism. I found this great list on uh, developgoodhabits.com. I'd like to see that list. Can you send me the link real quick? Uh, I don't have my phone. I, I can share the screen. Oh, share the screen, that, dude. Would that be all right? Yeah, that would be hey. fine. Give me the shared screen, please. Hello, hello, children. Uh, disc, <laughs> desktop, all right. Uh, share, all right. Yeah, you here? You live? You cool? Yeah, I see. I see. Uh, I see your uh, islands. Are, are are those islands? Those are some pretty oh, islands. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. I've, no, that's all right. Here we go. Yeah. No, what the hell? I can't I think... seem to get to the top far. Oh man! <laughs> what did I do to myself? All right, I'm just gonna jump into. Boom! Stoicism. Um, where am I? Oh no, this is anger. We talked about that one already. All right, so here we go. Um, and I'm sorry that I somehow. I I can't move this. I apologize. So. Uh... <laughs> Be kind, number one, right here. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna write these down with you. Hang on, yes. let, me, let me get let me get my pen and paper out. This is stoicism. This is stoicism. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. know I moved it. I moved it. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yay. Yay. So I don't really generally write things down on the computer when I do this. I like I like to write things down. Um, no, my... no. Um, whatever whatever helps you learn better. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I for me, I have to say it and I have to write it down. You have to say it and write it down. That's the generation you and me grew up in. Um, we grew yeah. up in the, write everything down. You know, that's how write you know. everything down. Mm -hmm. That's so weird. That's I, I, that's the first time I actually thought about it. But when I think about like learning from the computer to like writing, it's a huge difference in terms of what I retain. It, no, it, seriously. Um, I, I learned that when I was doing all that insurance class shit. Remember that? Um, yeah. Uh, it, I was much better when I wrote it down. Um, so All right, let's do it. So we got be kind. We got be kind here, and that goes for everything. That that goes you you can control how you treat everyone else. You are in complete control of that. No one is forcing you to act mean or dis, dis, disheartening to anybody. It is completely up to you to be kind. You are in control. That's the one thing you can fucking control in this crazy god awful life. Got amazing life. Um, so yeah, one, be kind. Two, be an eternal student. Oh, right there. Maybe I read be this. Be an eternal student. Maybe hey, I read this list. Hey, did, did we write this ago. list? I think we wrote this list. I feel like we should write the list like, now. I feel like I, I, I read this list like seven months ago. And number two is what's stuck in my head because I've been, I've been sputtering this out ever since I've, ever since I, ever since I, uh, I, I heard it, I guess. Uh, What's a, what, let me, let me, let me, I want to read that quote real fast. Leisure without study is death, a tomb for the living person. Seneca. Yeah. Uh, Seneca is a, a stoic philosopher. What does that mean? Like, can you, can you, can you uh, break that down for me a little bit? What do you think that means? 
So leisure without study is death. Um, basically, if, if you're if you're just sitting around not learning anything, what are you doing? Um, mm. You're just basically a wall. You are taking nothing in and putting nothing out. Um, that is that's basically a dead person. Uh, what good are you if you know? I mean, not what good are you, but if you're sitting back and you're you're taking your time and you're not like what you and me are doing right now, we're learning together. Mm. You know this. This is being proactive. Um, this is this is being a human. This is being a living person. And I think that's what he was trying to say. That's a good interpretation. I like never, that. Never take a day off from learning. Um, here, uh, hmm. Ep 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 Epictetus said, the value of, of education is that of gold. Is value, wait, sorry. The value of education is that of gold is valued in every place. Love so, that education is like gold it, you know i can take gold anywhere in the world and it has a value to it education i think is the same goddamn thing i want to stop for just a, just real fast and get a little off topic but go scroll a little bit back up right there the value of education do you feel um in a lot of news sources that i've recently tried to like bump into do you feel like there's a lot of ones that are trying to block you unless you pay yeah. Have you noticed that a lot? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Um, I, I get, can't feel like, uh, like that's such an appropriate like, quote. Like, no, like, like this right, right now. now. I'm, I'm getting yeah. blocked by an yeah. ad. Right Do you see now. that? The, the money being, yeah. See that? that that's ridiculous. How and There's another, another ad right here. I have another ad right here. It's just mm -hmm. ads, ads, ads. And behind it, there's, there's a lesson to learn. But yeah. I, I can't seem to get to that lesson. How, how do you get Why to that? There, why is there an X here if you can't? Oh, oh, you can click it. And you know what it is? It's a timer, dude. You have I, to stare at it for a certain amount of time. It's my first day on the internet. I apologize. Yeah. Um, no, oh, no, no. You have to literally stare at the ad. Your eyes have to look and make contact with it because they can see through that. <laughs> Try to see if I'm making it up now. John, right, I, I think you said this earlier um, without meaning it. Uh, say only what isn't better left unsaid. And that... That is that that is true to me. Uh, I, I say a lot of things that I, I probably don't need to, because it, it doesn't have to. Um, so I'm going to read this quote right here. Yeah, uh, give let, it to me. Let silence be your goal for the most part. Mm. Say only what is necessary and be brief about it. That I think, I think we can all take that. Uh, only on rare occasions, when called upon to speak then speak, but never about banalities like gladiators, horses, sports, food, common, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, he, he lived in a different time period. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But um, I feel um, like this makes me think of like actions provide more, how do I want to say this? Action is- Yes, actions show, I think a lot- they More than words, you know what I mean? Like words, yes. Yeah, like you, you can say a lot with your actions rather than just what you're saying. You know, I, I feel like it is equivalent to saying walking the walk. Yeah, if um, you will. Like, like uh, yeah. I, I, I also see like, I don't think that's exactly what it's supposed to mean in terms no, of- No, it says right here, don't gossip. Um, yeah. I think that's that's a real, real big thing. Cause Yeah, um, highlight that real fast. Can you highlight that uh, above? Uh, Above all, don't gossip about people praising, blaming, or comparing them. It, it makes me think of also my father used to say these kind of things to me about uh, people that talk about things, people that talk about people, and people that talk about ideas. And he always told me that you want to try to strive to be the person that talks about ideas. Yes, exactly. Don't. You know? And, and and that's if it's better left unsaid don't say it don't say it dude and that like, is that is gossip that is basically you, you want to you want to start yeah and this is the drama part that we were probably talking about is that is that what you meant mm -hmm. yeah <clears throat> i agree with that yeah um do you ever notice people speak primarily about themselves mm. oh oh yes. i'm sorry do, <laughs> do, 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 that's like my first favorite topic is myself <laughs> Yeah. let me ask you about me <laughs> yeah hey can, let me let me talk to me about me for a me for a minute so Sorry. Let, uh yeah don't gossip uh listen instead that's very good 
And we'll okay. Just jump on we're, 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 on, we're on number four now. Number four, don't get disturbed by, no, don't get disturbed and buy tranquility instead. Uh, this, this one, I think I need to explain to myself sometimes. I think I need um, an explanation here too. Yes. So I'm just going to read it verbatim. I yeah. think I buy tranquility instead is the sentence that saved me countless of times from getting angry or irritated. I often, uh, how often do we get angry at trifles? How often do we lose our mind for something that is insignificant as a fart in a bathroom? Uh, so yeah, don't sweat the small stuff. That's what he's saying. Um, Mountains over mohills. Yeah, don't sweat the small stuff. Uh, don't get disturbed by tranquility. Like that, that's all he's saying. You know, don't, you shouldn't have to care about someone farting in the bathroom because they're all going to fart. We're all farting in bathrooms. Um, so I, I, I definitely heard that twice today. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to start incorporating this into my daily life. A hundred percent. I kind of like how he talks about the buying tranquility. And we say, we say he, I don't, I don't know who, who wrote they, this. We, we could say they, they I, yeah, I, I, I they like, know. I like who, like how they wrote that, but at the same time, do you have to buy tranquility? Like, can't you already have like, let's say, invested in tranquility? Can we? Can yeah, we get? I to don't that think. Point? I don't think they mean um like with money. Uh, you buy. Am it I taking that too literal in that yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah. I think you buy it with with your the time in your heart or the time in your in whatever. You just you buy it with yourself. I got gotcha. you. Um, because okay. this all takes up power and space in our brains. Hmm. <laughs> That's a good point. And um, so we're going to jump on the next one. See the opportunity in, cha in, uh, in challenging situations. Um, this, this, this will tie into talks later in my life about attitude. Um, but don't see challenges and be afraid of them. In fact, see them as like, um, ha ha, I can do that. You know, mm. you know how can a stoic adopt this how, how how to be a stoic adopt this mindset either we shrink or we grow i think perfect right there this all comes down to our perception the same situation can be either perceived as a lead ball chained to your feet or as wings growing on the top of your shoulder blades that yeah how you interpret the challenge is crucial to your success in overcoming it ultimately it's never the challenge that matters, but how you deal with them, how you do them. Uh, I think that's beautifully fucking put. Always makes me think of that Linkin Park song. Um, the journey is more important than the end of the start. In I think that's the in the end, end. It doesn't even matter. Um, yeah, exactly. I'm sure that's what they were thinking about. I, I hope so, dude. Very <laughs> stoic. I feel stoic now. Six. Choose courage and calm over anger. I needed mm. to hear this today, John. I needed to hear all of this. I love this, I Sean. I really I just, do. Just so you know, I didn't. I didn't plan any of this. No, like, um, Sean. Do we ever plan? Well, we, we, we fell into stoicism here. <laughs> yeah. Um. So uh, choose courage and calm over anger. Uh, I'm going to skip Marcus Aurelius for one second because I have a whole book of quotes that we'll get into later. Okay. Um, anger is we'll passion. Ooh. Ooh. A negative emotion the Stoics want to minimize. Anger is the desire to repay suffering. It is brief madness, says Seneca. Because an angry man lacks self-control and is forgetful of kind of kinship, uh, deaf to reason and advice, gets aroused by trifles, and doesn't know what is true or false. This is a that's a beautiful sum up of everyone and how they think in 2020. Um, Elaborate. We don't know the difference between what's what's false and what's right, uh, and when you're told the difference, you're, you're you've, it falls on deaf ears. Like, you ever tried talking to someone who's a real Trump supporter or a real Bernie Sanders supporter? Oh, you're talking about my dad right now? Are you are you are you talking no, about my father? I'm not talking about your father. <laughs> you brought your father up, not me. <laughs> I I am. I, I, I wanted it to be funny, but yeah, we're talking about my dad right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you notice how how deaf to reason and advice that they can be, um, mm -hmm. and that's true. He he father, is very defiant in regards to like actual uh, truth. I, I am too. I am defiant when it goes against my way of thinking. It goes mm -hmm. against what I've already tried to show you as me. Then I get angry. So. 
getting angry hurts yourself the most. Uh, the sword of justice is ill placed in the hands of an angry man. Boom! Damn. Tattooed. Is that biblical? <laughs> Feels biblical. <laughs> the sword of justice is ill placed in the hands of an angry man. That's Seneca, mm. dude. Boom. You know what? If I was on Facebook, I'd be writing that as a quote, gentlemen. Dude, that is my post. Oh, tweet that, please. Oh, yo, please tweet that. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. oh. Amongst friends should tweet that, by the way. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Amongst we're gonna tweet that. Should only tweet Stoic uh, philosophies, by the way. I, I I think we're limiting ourselves when we do that, but <laughs> but I, I I agree with if we have other quotes in there, I wouldn't be too uh, too upset about that. Okay, That's a, okay. That I'm, I'm that one's meaty, and I like it. I'm a full. I'm fully. I I fully ship this. This is a full support. Uh, play your given cards well. Ooh. Uh, life is neither good nor bad. It is the space for both good and bad. Uh, says Seneca. Uh, think of different life situations as hands you were dealt in like poker and the hands you, you are dealt by, or by chance. Um, so you have no say in what you get. So like right now it's 2020, I'm locked down. I don't, I, I don't, I can't, I don't have my bartending job I can go back to. Mm -hmm. So I have to, you know, get back into, uh, uh, I, I have to basically go, go through the whole process of finding a new job with a new company all over again. And these are the cards that I feel I was dealt and I just have to make the best out of it. I can't sit here and, and pick myself apart because this isn't the right job I want or this isn't enough money that I'm making. I just have to go in there and make the best of it. Mm. What's up to you is... What's up to you is what you do with the given situation once a hand has been dealt. You have no choice to accept what's too late to change, and you wish no longer for a more preferable hand of strength to play. Blah 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 blah. Anyway, so I, I know this. I hope I know this part as something a little different, and that's uh, living on life's terms. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, so life, life on life's terms living life on life's terms uh, you know if you're in recovery that might be familiar staying to you uh <clears throat> but to me like that that's exactly what it means like giving sometimes you don't have control over the over the the cards that you're dealt in life you know and there's two options you can either you know throw your cards down and like walk away or you can you can play it out yeah. and it, both of those options are valid. You, so you know, you throw it, it, the it, cards down. Right. It's usually, the anger coming up out of me. I'm just saying, like, These there's the there, there are we're times. trying to get away from. We're trying to get away from our anger. But if yeah. you're playing poker, right? Sometimes it's better to fold. You got oh, to know, yeah. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? That's 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 the name of the game. Uh, knowing, and knowing when to fold. Right. Sometimes a lot harder than. Yeah. Knowing when to win, you know? And I think it's okay to learn from people's examples in terms of that as too. And I think that's oh, yeah. part of like if you're thinking like, well, how do I fold on life? Like that's how you fold. Like you read the <laughs> you read the room and you see like what the what your uh uh your your outcomes are going to be or in that sense. I it's, I, I, I don't know. Uh, no, like living might. on life's terms or like, you know, seeing like, well, you know, this happened to my pal and using that as Good your yeah. own wisdom yes yes take, or own experience yes. Yes. is the real goal in terms of that yes. that's how you fold yes okay so, I, i'm glad we talked about that a little bit love whatever happens um uh my partner will tell mm. you this up and down um love love is the only real pure thing i think we're all born with um so if you set yourself up to already accept what's going to happen, no matter what, you're going to make yourself at peace with what happened. Um, but how we say here, accept rather than fight every little thing as it happens. If we resist reality, if we think things are going against us, then we will suffer. Mm. Um, yeah, if I think if I, if I think that the state's going against me or the government's going against me because whatever reasons, if this builds up more resentment and anger in me and I take that and it affects the people around me. Um, again, uh, my girlfriend being, being one, she, you know, she'll, she'll tell me this up and down. Like you just, you have to love because if I sit here and don't, 
the microaggressions and transactions and the little trivial things build up and they make me angry and snap. Um, love whatever happens. I, I'm, I'm, I needed to hear this one today too. <clears throat> Uh, the Stoics said we should ex we should adapt to whatever happens so that nothing happens against our will and nothing that we wish for nothing that we wish for fails to happen. Sean, hi highlight highlight what you uh, what the yeah, area, that, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's bring our will to harmony with what's going on around us. Fate leads the willing and drags along the reluctant. I see. I like that. Fate leads the willing and drags along the reluctant. Why, why, why does that really relate to you? Uh, I, I am reluctant for a lot of things. And that, that just because I don't like the change or I'm reluctant to it doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to happen. And it's not going to keep on happening. Mm. Um, we're going to see a lot of new changes going on to the next couple of years um, that COVID has, has kind of put to our society you know we're gonna have to figure out uh how we how we get around cities when you when people aren't driving or you know i'm going kind of off into different tangents here but i think this this whole part about fate leads the willing it really kind of hits home for me because i think that when you allow uh things to just be all right allow things to be out of your control or understand that you have no control okay allows us to be open to whatever fate is and fate whatever can be a lot yeah, yeah whatever happens if you let, can just call fate just God. like you know what the, this is just how my day's rolling like and that's cool if that's if, if but you know if you hear a song on the radio i'm like oh thank you god like that's that's okay too we accept yeah. any part of those things Hell yeah. and fate leads the willing and drags the reluctant that's and like good. You can feel, see that like when I'm, people I'm, put their own like point of view or their own will into something, which I thought was very interesting. You know, like it, when you allow things just to be as they are, instead of putting your interpretation, your feelings, your emotions, your intent into a situation, you see some pretty horrible outcomes. And I say this to myself a lot or to anybody at one point is like, give me 24 hours, dude. Give me 24 hours. I tell my girl all the time. Like, and I can ruin everything in my life. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's what I could do. I could do that in probably less than that. Maybe eight hours tops. Yep. You know? Give me fucking, give, yeah, you said it. You said it perfectly. <clears throat> um, this uh, number nine here, I, I think I have to read. Um, yeah. Don't get played like a puppet. Say it again. Don't get played like a puppet. Don't get played like a puppet, please. The ambiguous remark of a colleague, the boyfriend who didn't call, or the comment of a stranger, we get spun around by things beyond our control, like puppets. We let external circumstances and other people pull the strings and dance to their liking. Mm. All right, so don't get played like a puppet. Avoid rashes or rashness in your actions. Stay calm, and don't get pulled by what's not under your control. Don't get played like a puppet. Don't um, get played like a puppet. That's dude, and we're all. I think a lot of us, not all of us. I'm sorry, but I think a lot of us are played like puppets during um during the political season. Um, a lot of us. We start spouting out angry, um, you know, memes that we've seen, mm. thinking we know facts that we don't know anything about, but we have this guttural anger inside of us that we think we're right. So I, I think a lot of us are susceptible to this, um, especially in, in today's world where it's media everywhere kind of pushing you in, in directions of how you feel. I mean, if, if all these ads around here were where, you know, ads against the American government, eventually we would start to feel negative towards the government. Um, they, you know, they're, they're, they're pushing us into that, in, in, in that direction. So mm. taking the step back to see that and not letting yourself get controlled by the environment around you, I think is godly. I think that is, um, that's, I think we can all seriously learn a lesson from, not being a puppet and 
not trying to puppet anyone else. <clears throat> I think, I, I, you know, if we're going to get into advertisement a little bit, I don't mind saying this. I think advertisement is meant for you to pay attention to. It's, 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 oh, it's, yeah. trying, it's trying to do that. That's why it's there yeah. to make you know that, you know, hey, you I mean, can get 25% off your Manscaped me, body for Black Friday, dude, you know? I, 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 sorry about that. No, <laughs> no I, I, I'll just say it. No, like, no. But like for, for, I mean, for advertising, it can go two ways because like for Instagram, for amongst friends, yeah, uh, I, I want to post cool pictures with a funny little, like not funny, but with a, with a, with a questionable uh, a, a comment that will be enough to kind of direct you into this direction. Yeah, but everybody's uh, trying to brand you though. Like, you yeah. know, like I, I just don't get that. And I, 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 I feel brand, when you when you say like God like in the sense of individuality, like I like that. I like the idea of like um knowing that advertisement is there to like say, hey, buy my shit, rather than you know, interpreting as like you should be this person. You know what I mean? That's like, what it turns I mean, into though. And I, that's I, what it turns into. Yeah. It turns into like this war of like well, look like, how happy this person look how happy yeah. darren is when he trims his bush you know like, who was who was that the that that, that that famous lady who did the the, the joe joanne something she did like that whole oh my god i'm completely blanking you know what we'll we'll, we'll come back to that you google joanne right now i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna finish with number 10 here give me number 10 while i'm doing um, this um and uh, this i need to read for myself to play the uh equanimity equanimity Equanimity, uh, game. equanimity yeah you got equanimity it right Equanimity game sorry sorry no no that, that, that was that was spot that. on um, i would i would have said seen in and but that's see that's you gotta be vulnerable and yeah be, and be it's okay just i, I you want me to give it a shot let me give it a shot right now play the uh, equanimity equanimity, uh, equanimity, 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 game. E equanimity. let's see like a younger a younger me would get would have gotten angry that I, yeah. I couldn't say that right away and you know that my temper would come into into play and i would probably act mean spirited towards yeah. you i would have probably said equestrian by accident and like yeah. really been fucked up about it for a couple of days <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> the equestrian game the yeah, equestrian game sexual? i was like oh, I don't even no. Know. oh no they can't um, know about the ponies <laughs> we all get caught off guard from time to time not just by major events but also by minor often unexpected occurrences the train doesn't arrive on time. Your bike gets stolen. Your friend cancels a date last minute. Mm. So it's all in these weak moments, such as insignificant situations that can knock us out. I, 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 I can see that, um, you know, always uh, like here, cancel on a friend. Um, yeah. Canceling on a friend is a good one. After, I, I feel like that happens you can, uh, pretty just, often. Yeah. It's so I, in today's world, it's so easy to, 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 to cancel everything. I think in today's world, it's 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 the ghosted factor. Yeah, I, it's so easy to like not answer, not cancel. Yeah. I didn't cancel. I just didn't respond. And I I do think you know you know twenty years down the road, we're gonna see the the mental repercussions of ghosting. Yeah, um, I think it's gonna society, have some people fucked a, up. I think it's gonna have a societal effect. Yeah, um, because ghosting didn't happen in our parents' generation. They just you know they, they didn't. Yeah, I mean, how, how do you ignore a phone call? You're gonna ignore the phone, or are you gonna yeah, pick right? it up? You, you didn't know. You picked yeah. it up. Um, you had no idea who was gonna be on the other line. I can see you calling me, so I don't know. It's, yeah. Uh, lose and balance before irritable. Before it comes irritable and grouchy. Um, that's mm. me. That's me right there, dude. Yeah, I find myself being super grouchy when I'm like really angry. I'm not sure if those things are like coincidental or not but it, it feels it's all fucking it's all it's, it's all connected up here so i am the grouchiest person when like i'm like a little bit angry even i'm grouchy when i'm hungry i'm grouchy yeah i'm grouchy when i'm, when I'm, yeah. I'm, grouchy, I'm grouchy when i'm uh, tired I'm grouchy when i can't think straight yeah when i'm tired yeah. too uh so yep. look there's <clears throat> look there's no problem in getting thrown out of bounds sometimes it happens to all of us as a stoic student you know this. Your main goal is to recover as quickly as possible, like punching a ball that rebounds whenever you hit it. Mm. So, yeah, uh, I think uh, I said that last episode, homeostasis. Um, 
I think we're all looking for that that balance, that 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 level playing field to live on. And our emotion is the roller coaster trying to get back to that levelness. Um, I see I, that. You know, I, I, I do think these these ten these ten little uh, these ten little habits. I think are definitely. I'm going to save this and definitely start. Um, yeah, put that, put it, put it, we're going to have to save uh, some of these things that we find in, in research for, for fun, for fun use in the future or yeah, for other uh, people to use. No, seriously, I, I want to start um, really, along with the meditation, start putting a lot of these into practice. I know it's so much easier to say it than it is to do it, but um, I need, I need to start seeing some change in my life for myself. So these are the things I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start uh, being open to suggestions. Um, yeah. It seems like these people kind of have something, they have something that I want. Um, and that's when you learn from somebody, it's because you, you want to obtain information or, or, or something. So you have to be open to that information. You have to be open to wanting to, to be wrong and be vulnerable. So I think there's a lot that is all connected here. And hey, I, I think another one to point out in terms of that is honesty. Uh, honesty is critical in terms of being able to see what anger is going to be like for Hell you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, so that, you don't be afraid to be, to, to be vulnerable and honest with yourself. Uh, it, it's not comfortable. It's not meant to be comfortable. It, it, it's, it's something that changes how we see ourselves and sometimes we're a little bit fragile in how we feel about ourselves too yeah um and i think we're also our hardest critics to ourselves. yep i um, agree with that totally I, I i i you know i i i tell uh I mean, my girlfriend all the time you know stop beating yourself up you're so you're so hard on yourself and so no hard on yourself else, no one else is yeah and I tell her that and then I do the same thing to myself. Yeah. So I call myself, I, I call myself an idiot like every day. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And it's not true. I don't, I don't feel like an, like I'm truly an idiot, but like there's this just like this weird inner dialogue that you have with yourself. It's and, really self-critical. Uh, you know, and it's there, but it's, it's, it's sometimes it doesn't want to be, it doesn't want to be known and being <laughs> honest with yourself and uh, le leads you to willing to do some of the other things uh that that uh we talk about it amongst friends and that's healing uh healing. change healing being yeah that's right what does that say on your hand what does oh, it say? No, it, it just it says heal but that's <laughs> that's for me <laughs> yeah ah i like that um no but uh what i want my goal out of this again is after every every talk with you i want to feel revigorated i want to feel good i want to yeah. be ready to fucking go ready to start your week you yeah, know dude, yeah i had a rough week i'm really happy i talked to you i'm really happy you, dude. i learned a lot of this stuff today yeah we learned a lot of good things about uh about about anger yeah. about uh you know some stoicism thoughts uh you know how <laughs> how we how the how anger is uh, perceived as threats. We learned a lot of cool things I today. I think we learned a lot of cool things, yeah. a lot of cool tools yeah. that we can use in our in our in our book bag of life skills. I, I'd say we, we were we were pretty. Us. Yeah, we were pretty teachable today. We God were. God damn it! How, why don't they teach you this stuff in school? Like, why can't they teach kids stuff that they're going to? Oh, right, different topic. They, they have, have to learn their A B Cs and one hey, two threes, homie. Next week we'll talk about the fallacies of the American school system. Oh, are we really? Stay tuned, kids. <laughs> uh, uh, John, uh, uh, thank you for joining me this week. Sean, thank you um, for, for, for listening to my voice and listening to barbecue jokes and silly things. For the video, I will plug in all of our stuff after this slide. Uh, uh, Instagram, where, we're, where we can be found. Uh, you guys send me a, a Twitter, John. So send us a, a tweet. I'll send the Twitter. I'll send the tweet out um, and uh, we'll okay. get that going. I, uh, you can you can email us at s h a c k. <laughs> What's the guys black are... at icloud.com. I'll, there I'll you spell go. it out for We're... you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. oh. happened, this happened last week too. <laughs>
we're um, you know how about we just we're, we're gonna work on that part of it ladies and gentlemen uh we're gonna make like we're gonna, an email. Get, we're gonna get an easier email not yeah. just slack at icloud.com yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll make a Gmail account. Uh, yeah, we'll make a Gmail. We'll, we'll do yeah, something yeah, cool. We can have like a, a real community. Uh, maybe a, a Patreon too. Uh, Patreon is a, is a nice uh, website where people can um, get more immersed into a community and help support each other. So uh, yeah, cool. I'm gonna look into that definitely. Um, so uh, reach out to me at uh, shaklak at icloud.com. Yep. And, um, and until then, well, we'll see you. We'll see you next week, everybody. Have a good one, everybody. Have a good night.